Here we go. Okay. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Hmm. Hmm. Somnium scan! Activate! Pew! Mental Lock 1 The Telly Mental Lock 2 The Window Mental Lock 3 The Room Outside Mental Lock 4 Oh god she's got a bunch Sinking in the Vein Okay Discover Iris's secret A mysterious room, videos and a strange device You may be able to find the truth But we only have 6 minutes Okay uh, oh, oh, we have two options. Look at the blood or watch the murder. You can check all that. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, when it says. So the TV's there. Remains over there. That's like right behind us? Hmm. Let's watch the murder. A CRT TV. Hit or spin the dial. Ah, okay, so these are both the negative ones. Okay, we didn't see any like properly negative ones before, but these both give us a times two. And they use 30 seconds. Oh god. Uh, let's spin that dial. Stop! this video it is difficult to believe but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer huh what what is going on here Iris what are you hiding we should continue there are more objects to inspect now uh oh Okay, we've chosen a path. You picked up a timey that has a negative effect. Multiply time will force you to use or force you to use them. Uh oh, if you pick one up, be careful. Yeah, we got one. That ain't fun. Okay. B strangle it? What? Doors. Torso, mirror to the left, gun over there. Okay, let's check the torso. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? Uh, a head, so. Uh, choke, push, or hit. Uh, I mean, didn't our objective say strangle it? <laughs>
Even my consciousness is being affected. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Okay. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. Got it. Strangled the body. Yeesh. Uh, beat it to death. The next one says. Four minutes. Jesus. Like, are we talking about the body again, or...? Operating table, TV, mirror, medicine bottle, gun. Beat it to death. Operating table? Is there someone on the operating table? I don't know. Beat it to death. A full body mirror. Talk, look, punch. Uh, punch? Beat it? We can see it in the mirror? Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Well, shit. Uh... Beat it to death. I'm just not sure what... What that means exactly. An operating table. Perform surgery. Sleep for oh my god. It's almost three minutes. That's almost my entire time is sleep. Jesus. Oh my god. 144 seconds perform surgery? What? What? What do these things do? That's far too much time. I can't do that. Investigate? The fabric on the surface is frayed. Shit, I meant to use a time thingy. It appears to be in use despite its age. They did surgery here? Surgery or worse. Well, that's no good. Three minutes, Date. This is terrible. A this is so much door. harder. This is so much harder than the first one. <laughs> uh. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Stop that! You're not helping. God oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do door. with these? Wait, can we actually just open them? No. God damn it. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. But there's something past there. Isn't there? Oh wait, no, I'm an idiot. There isn't. What am I on about? God damn it. Okay, uh Let's check the TV. An old television. Turn the dial, investigate, hit. Man, we are so low on time. <laughs> we are so low on time. Uh, I guess let's halve the hit. Or third the hit? Let's third the hit. We're gonna have to retry, I think. Because I am not finding the correct thing. 
Where's the gun? Wait, we just walked past the gun? Oh. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Jump investigate. Uh Investigate? It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. Why would this be here? What's this? The trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. You have less uh, than two minutes, Date. Hurry. A revolver. Try the jump instead. Weekly Shonen. Don't say it. Jump. Oh, she can't get anywhere close. Okay, so we can't do anything with the gun. Best I could. I am not a cyborg unless I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Nobody's blaming you. Okay, we haven't done anything with the medicine bottle yet. bottle that holds some kind of liquid. Chug? <laughs> uh, investigate probably is our best bet. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. Uh... Well, I'm gonna chug it. <laughs> drug bottle that holds... This is gonna be a terrible idea. Do not pressure me, Date. Pressure you? Into drinking alcohol. Is it alcohol? Well, unknown. This is for an investigation. I'm ordering you to drink it. You are exploiting your position of power. I will set up a labor union. <laughs> an AI labor union? Sounds dystopian. I won't drink it. Fine. Okay. Man, like I've I've tried most options at this point. A full body mirror. Talk? <laughs> Didn't do shit. It's an operating table. What the fuck is the right answer here? Uh, let's do a ten seconds for perform surgery, I guess. Oh no, God, I forgot to click it. Thank you, game. Who do you intend I operate on? Can you just pretend to do it? Pretend to do it? Nothing's happening. How disappointing. Damn. I thought it might trigger a memory to recreate itself or something. Perhaps you should abandon that line of thinking. Man, I really don't know. The previous the previous hint was so obvious, like beat it to death, okay? You or well, the previous one was like strangle it or whatever. So you go up to the mannequin and you strangle it. Done. But this one beat it to death, but there's nothing to beat. I don't get it. An old tell. Oh, you're forced into using this. Oh. Well, that's not good. I guess. A full bu God, it all takes so much time. A drug bottle that 80 seconds I don't have this kind of time I guess we'll be retrying
Four minutes. There is not much we haven't tried, <laughs> so... TV? An old tele... Uh, turn the dial? Well, I guess this was what we needed to do. <laughs> that video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. Okay. Drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Another torso. Let's go. Let's go beat that to death then. Well, at least I got it first try that time. A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. Push, punch, choke. Uh, it's got to be Yolden punch. I didn't get hit, did I? There is no effect on your body, Date. Hit my soul hard enough. While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. Okay. Let's hope you're right. So we probably need to probably need to adjust the new TV again. Shoot to death. Three minutes, Date. An old fashioned TV. Turn the dial. And we'll one sixth it. So someone was someone else was there this for all was these the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. All these original killers, like there was the killer and there was also someone with them. Why does Iris know that? Was Iris the one with them? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killer. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Okay. We need the gun now. Locker. Is that this? No. Where's the locker? Oh, here. Just a locker. Open. Wow. Iba? It's all right. More importantly. <laughs> sure, Rube Goldberg style. Oh my god, it really is Rube Goldberg style. Incredible. This is going to allow us to get the gun. Why, yes, this makes perfect sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, wait. Wait, it. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is bizarre. 
<laughs> this is actually like full Rube Goldberg. Like, if you don't know what a Rube Goldberg machine is, YouTube that shit. There are some very fun ones to watch. Yikes. Hooray, finished with tons of time. Major yikes. Huge yikes. Okay, day three, Sunday, Gum Gumai? Gumai? What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. And she was there? That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... It wasn't her, but she was there, I think, is what I was saying. Because there were two people in each one. Different strings of characters and numbers continue to scroll. Like, she's too young. Like, six years ago, there's no way she could have been doing that, surely. Surely. You can see the sink machine. Iris is in the subject's chair. About the original and new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. The red figure from the sink. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. About the original. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. You hate to hear it. Uh, why did the original killer appear in Iris's Somnium? The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink Machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Uh, okay. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, 
The same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. But like... <laughs> how is the person not being caught? If she knows who it is, why would she not say something? Are all memories real? Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Okay. What do you think, boss? Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. You will, one day. Or I'll find out myself, somehow. <laughs> Uh, the blue figure. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. Wait, that's supposed to be me? The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Oh, well, I guess it kind of does look like me. I thought that was supposed to be looking like her. Like, with different, with blonde hair. But, no, I guess it kind of, uh, yeah, I guess it is me. Hmm. 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 We did get a weird memory thing when we first met her, right? In this game. Date. You cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'll accept that explanation for now. What about the original serial killings? The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Liar. Really? Really. There's no way. <laughs> Why did the original Cyclops killer appear in the Somnium? You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Mm -hmm. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Yeah. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm... I mean, I'm trying to piece together, like, remember that, the dream we had at the start, we saw someone beating up a woman that turned out to be her mum. So, maybe her dad was the killer? And we, we've seen he's a piece of shit from that dream we had. Uh, and, like, maybe he... I don't know, he took her with him? I don't know, I don't know. Summarize. I didn't learn anything from speaking with Boss and Pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Pewter shook me from my thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Oh, good. Got it. I headed to the sink room. Iris, we have something to chat about. What the fuck is going on in your dreams? Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? 
There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? Mm. No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Hmm... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. So she's repressed them. She has the memories, but she's repressed them. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Hmm. Well, things to chew on. That is for sure. Date, could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? <laughs> She's just being all chill with us after we interrogate her in a police room. I feel like I wouldn't be chill with someone if they did that to me. Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. Okay. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. All right, sure. Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. No. Marble. Sunday, 9.41 p.m. When we walked in, I didn't see Mama anywhere. To my surprise, I saw Ota sitting at the counter. Tessa! Oh, Ota! Alright, is anything going to have changed? A flyer, sofa, table. Doesn't seem like anything's going to have changed. Shelves. Hmm. Okay, uh, so, what have we got new in the file? <laughs> so, we've got so. Uh, authority, fame, and assets are his favorites. Dislikes anything that threatens them. Mahjong, golf, and Nishiki carp breeding. Skills, grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, and making them obey. So is a member of the post-war generation. He grew up poor, which gave him two things. His motivation for seeking power and wealth, and his vindictiveness toward the upper class. Moma likes humanity and justice. Really? Chivalry? Really? Gandhi? What? <laughs> Dislikes old-fashioned and irrit- 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 uh, <laughs> Can't get the word out. Irrational traditions. Uh, hobbies, watching dance, collecting art, and hot springs vacations. Skills, shooting, magic tricks, and beatboxing. Momo became the leader of the Kumakura Yakuza gang after his predecessor stepped down several years ago. In the past, the Kumakuras were known for being ruthless and violent, but Momo ho hopes to make the group more peaceful and business-minded. Motherfucker, you had two people in there who, one of them drew a gun on me, the other drew a fucking minigun, like, <laughs> yeah, nice and peaceful. Rohan uh, likes guns, drugs, money, women, and power. Hates betrayal, rival gangs, and cops. Politics, investment, fraud, <laughs> organ trading for his hobbies, skilled in torture, Jesus. He used to be the leader, but a year ago he committed suicide. He was known for his horrific torture technique of peeling his victim's skin from toe to thigh. What the fuck? Yeesh. 89. Uh, a mysterious inmate currently serving life for murder known only as 89. 
Yakuza A <laughs> likes ass erotic novels. Dislikes animal cruelty. Well, that's good. He won a dog training contest. He is the lowest ranking member of the Kumakuras. He once had dreams of pursuing the top spot in the gang, but has since decided that he'd rather focus on training his dog. Aww. Uh, this guy likes dominatrixes, dislikes domestic violence. <laughs> Uh, perhaps due to the way he looks, he's often mistaken for a low-ranking member, even though he is toward the top. He typically does office work, has recently fallen in love, and lost a lot of weight. Lad. Uh, Evolver has different number, different kinds of bullets. Savior. Uh, yeah. Collage. I think everyone knows what that is. Juro is a kind of ramen, okay. Internet cafe, not really something we have here, but I think everyone gets the concept of it. And negative timies, alrighty. Oh, and we got that new picture. Wait, we missed one there? We didn't get Mizuki B? How did we not get that? Huh. Iris A. Well, there we go. That seems like a good point to leave off for today then. With uh, these two ready to chat and see what they have to tell us. He knows some secret that she's told him and we don't know. And yeah, there's just lots, lots that we need to learn. So we will do that in the next part. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more. I, the Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.